Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com. My name is Sarah Herring. Now recently, PokerStars announced that there's going to be a $102,000 buy-in event at the W Coop this year. A lot of players were speculating about the potential for collusion and some other issues this might bring up, and other players were just super excited to jump on board. I talked to players and media to get their opinion. Uh, I think it's like so sick and I think I'm definitely going to play satellites. I mean like it's like I don't think it's too much money for online you know because they've been going bigger and bigger and you can always like sell PCs and shares and like why when you have like 100,000 uh, euros high orders or 50,000 euros 100,000 dollar online is kind of similar similar right so I'll definitely play some uh, satellites to it. I mean I, I think it's too high of a buy-in point for online. I just don't think it's going to generate that many players like the 50k was a marginal success last year um, and so I think this is uh, it's just like not many rec players like playing online, so I think it's just not going to be very good, not very big. Um, well, I mean, they ran the 50k um, in the last scoop of WCoops, so I think I can't imagine it'll be a success to be honest. I think the super high rollers are growing in um, popularity, so I would say I think it'll probably get a few runners. I think a lot of the media are going to want to rail it. A lot of fans like railing uh, poker tournaments, you know. WCoop final tables, even Sunday Million final tables when they used to do the replays, used to get people to watch it. Um, with this being such a high buy-in tournament, there's going to be less players, which maybe might make it easier to keep track of and report on. Um, no, I think it'll be good. I mean, you, you come and look at the, like the 50k high roller that was here, and uh, the field there was incredible. You get to go from table to table and, you know, nearly 99.9% .9 of the field you, you see in all the high rollers around the world. So to have them online, um, as well as some, some new faces maybe, that will be really interesting to rail. I guess there's always like worries about collusion or, you know, like, but in the end, I think it's pretty cool that we're trying something like this. I mean, there's a lot of people that like to play high stakes and, okay, even though that I'm not one of the players that will play in it, It'll be cool to, you know, like to see the replay of it or, you know, like see how people like hold themselves online, guys that usually play for high stakes in cash games. So, um, yeah, I think it's cool. And yeah, of course, you have to always be careful with all the stuff like uh, collusion and like, but then I think I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to not do things just because you're scared of other bad things happening even like I think the poker community in itself is like the best the best example of it like people when I say that I've, I'm playing poker they're like oh from field hockey to poker oh isn't that shady what is happening there it's like no like I just because people okay there there are risks in everything in life and I don't like to look at like all the risks and well, I, I like to look at the risks, but I, I don't like to live by them like, and not do things because I'm scared, because then I might as well not live, you know?